short answer to this question is no, the brain doesn't die that quickly. The source of that belief is that after about four to six minutes, any longer than that, without blood flow to the brain, irreversible injury tends to occur unless you take certain measures, leading to coma, irreversible brain damage, or death. However, that does not mean that the brain cells themselves have died. The primary obstacle to resuscitation after a period of cardiac arrest and lack of blood flow is not cell death, it's reperfusion injury. When you restart circulation, or reperfuse the tissues, what happens is largely inflammation. And inflammation is a problem because it causes blood vessels to become blocked up, and that prevents oxygen reaching the cells. And that will cause them to die, a time period more like hours than minutes. The period during which you can restore viability to the brain after a period of no blood flow can be increased by various means. One quite effective means is to lower body temperature by just a few degrees. That will actually double the time that the brain will remain viable. Another way to do it is to introduce blood that's being cooled. That also reduces reperfusion injury. There are various drugs that can reduce the inflammation that happens upon reperfusion. All of these methods can extend that period during which you can restore the brain well beyond a four to six minute limit. In some animal studies, animals' brains have been brought back without any neurological damage in up to 16 minutes or so. And in fact, there was a couple of studies in which monkey brains and cat brains uh, that had been isolated had been restored to normal electrical function after a full hour of warm cardiac arrest. Here's a related concern. Even if the brain doesn't die, people say, well, how can you be sure my memories will survive? Perhaps the brain itself and the body will be alive, but won't my memories be gone if you cryopreserve me? Well, in fact, we're pretty sure the answer is no, your memories will still be intact. Everything except very, very short-term memories, which are stored in just electrochemical activity. Anything more than 30 seconds or a few minutes is going to be stored in actual physical changes in the brain, changes in the connections between the synapses, levels of neurotransmitters, levels of proteins, actual physical changes that will in fact be preserved by the cryopreservation process. And we know that's the case, that's not just theory, we know from the case of people who've lost all electrical activity in the brain, who've had neocortical silence due to lack of blood flow, uh, low temperatures, hypoxia, for a number of causes, those people can be revived and all their memories are still intact. So we're pretty sure if we preserve your brain, we keep it alive, uh, can restore it to life, then your memories will come along with it. I'm Max Moore. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, share it with your friends, and visit the Alcor website.